are excited to introduce you to the Horizons Project. We are a pretty small crew. All of us come from an international background, now focusing on the US, and as you know, there is a lot for us to do. So why Horizons? We've come together with a lot of energy and enthusiasm to give. Because we see a need for a lot more connection. There's so many social change efforts bringing our diverse perspectives that we've all lived. Because in the US, we have so many peace builders and bridge builders and conflict resolvers galore. Everyone's trying to depolarize, find common ground, eat a meal, listen more. And this is really needed in our country. But will that be enough? Because change requires discomfort and disruption. And our conversations are going to be tough. Because we also have some very powerful movements in the US, activists coming together to raise the heat. It is not just about listening more. It's about power and activists changing systems of injustice that must be beat. So what is the future of our democracy? Where do we start to even make a dent? We all have different answers to that question and with a history to face up to and a need to repent. We can reform the Electoral College, fix gerrymandering, protect the vote. We can get money out of politics. We can change the party system. We can tackle our military spending bloat. It is a lot that we are facing. And there is a whole system of people charting a new course. Is it any one of these approaches the sole answer? Is it my way or the highway? Shall I convince you of my issue by force? The point of horizons is that multiple truths can be true. But we are really siloed in our various spaces. There's so many inspiring change makers in need of just a little glue. Our work is as systems organizers recognizing the importance of both and peace building, social justice, democracy, all together playing their part to take a stand. Because there are tensions amongst us when our theories of change seem to compete. Urgency versus gradualism, escalation versus de-escalation. When we are at odds, we tend to deplete. So if we're tackling this system as connectors, as sense makers, what is it that we actually do? Well, as organizers, we're building relationships between networks of networks, stitching together a sense of the many from the few. Along the way, we've gleaned five areas of exploration to bridge between practice and theory resources and tools to help this diverse system together with researchers to reflect and prioritize more clearly. The first is the ways of calling in versus calling out, tied to good versus toxic polarization. Yes, polarize to mobilize, but don't dehumanize if there's any doubt. We're looking at trauma and how it affects so much of how we relate and restorative movement building we can organize and demand change, but without hate. And the fifth area is my favorite, exploring narratives in the way that we engage with each other's stories across difference, shaping inclusive messages to help give rise to a new age. At Horizons, we care deeply about the rise of authoritarianism that cannot be denied. So we convene small salons and network leaders and thought partners to strategize and we work with pride. And we believe that one of our biggest stumbling blocks to a shared future, a country united, is truth and racial healing and reconciliation and to confront the forces to 
to keep us divided. So here we are, a new member of the Open Gov Hub, a perfect spot for a team like Horizons, who appreciates this kind of community and now is celebrating a special birthday with a lot 